Hey, what's up? It's KB here. So if you're into text to image AI, you're gonna love this. Today I present to you the Invoke AI. I didn't made it. <laughs> I'm here to share the info. So there is this project at GitHub called Invoke AI. This is actually a UI for stable diffusion. Stable diffusion is the best free and open source text to image AI. So it works with the stable diffusion and provides many other tools plus makes using text to image AI easier. It's it's just amazing. As I said, if you're into text to image AI, you are going to love this. It's absolutely amazing. Just in case if you don't know about the stable diffusion, just do the Google search and you'll know how good the stable diffusion is and it is completely free to download. These are the system requirements to run this. Even if you have a four gigabyte of VRAM in your NVIDIA graphics card, you can still use it. Even if you have a AMD graphics card, uh, you can also use it, but you'll need a Linux for that. And it also works with the M1 Apple devices, the Mac, devices uh, to download this you can go to the official github page from here you can go to releases and in here you can download the invoke ai for mac linux and windows uh, installing this is really simple once you download it you'll get this file called install.bat just run this program and it will just automatically install you don't have to do anything it will install stable diffusion uh, models and everything just follow the instructions when you're installing this and you'll be good to go i know you guys are very smart now this is the invoke ai we have text to image where we can put text and it will generate the images and you can say I have actually two images generated and just have a look at them. They look amazing. Okay, <laughs> it's an art that I made using this. You can also generate the image to image. Uh, just upload your image and then give prompt and generate the image. I, I mean, I don't have to explain every single thing. Uh, about you know text to image ai if you are into this then you know what's up if you don't know what's up then google is always there just do the google search and you'll understand everything about the uh, text to image ai it's a huge thing right now almost everybody is using the text to image ai and in my opinion invoke ai is the best it uses the stable diffusion plus provides many tools uh, you can also switch in between the stable diffusion and in painting stable diffusion if you want to generate like portrait or something someone's face uh, then you should go with the in painting it will work better if you want to generate like art or something like that you can just stick with the stable diffusion it also comes with the upscaling let's say you generated a cool image for example this one uh, and you want the higher resolution it's like uh, 512 by 512 which is like really low quality this is like standard resolution for you know text to image ai if you go higher than this uh, you'll need a better gpu for that reason uh, just in case if you want to upscale the images that you generated you can use the upscaling and yeah, you can go up to 4x, which will multiply this image by four times. Okay, enough talk. Now let's generate something, uh, something random. Let's see what type of result we get. Naruto in real life HD. <laughs> I didn't ask for like two Narutos. Okay, I did some Google search for the best prompts for text image AI. And let, let, let's let's try those out because I'm really bad at <laughs> using uh, the text to image AI. I, you know, okay. <laughs> wow, this this looks amazing. Wow, beautiful lady. Let, let's try this one more time. Same prompt. Let's see what we get this time. Uh, this is even better. Wow, let's try this one. Wow, I think it's gonna look good. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wow, this is actually cool. Johnny Depp, robot, cyberpunk style. Wow, cool. Uh, let's run this one more time. Now, Johnny Depp is <laughs> a robot. Cool. Okay, I'm not going to waste you guys' time. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with the Invoke AI. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.